Hi friends. That's right. I'm outside again. When the weather is nice, I just can't help it. I hope you get to get outside too, but be safe about it. If you're going to be away from your yard, which you probably shouldn't be, you need to have a mask on. Again, I'm on my deck and my door is right there, so I don't have a mask on. Plus, could you hear me and understand me if I had a mask on? Probably not. Don't get distracted by the birds in the background or maybe a car that might be driving by. Just stay focused on the story or poem and the animal teeth. Today from where the sidewalk ends, we're just gonna read one poem. But I want you to really think about what's happening in the poem because it takes a little thinking to understand this poem, but it used to be one of my favorites and I used to read it all the time. It's called Smart. My dad gave me one dollar bill, cause I'm his smartest son. And I swapped it for two shiny quarters, cause two is more than one. Then I took the quarters and traded them to Lou for three dimes. I guess he don't know that three is more than two. Just then, along came old blind Bates. And just cause he can't see, he gave me four nickels for my three dimes. And four is more than three. And I took the nickels to Hiram Combs, down at the seed feed store, and the fool gave me five pennies for them, and five is more than four. Then I went and showed my dad, and he got red in the cheeks, and closed his eyes and shook his head, too proud of me to speak. Hmm, let's think about this. So his dad gave him one dollar bill. That's equal to 100 cents, it's a dollar and he traded it for two quarters. Well, one quarter is 25 cents, and two quarters is 50 cents. So is that a fair trade? One dollar for 50 cents. Mm -mm. So now he has 50 cents, okay, and he traded that for three dimes. 10, 20, 30. So now he had 50 cents with two quarters, and three dimes is only giving him 30 cents. All right, 30 cents, but then he trades it for four nickels. Five, 10, 15, 20. So he had 30 cents with the three dimes and now he only has 20 cents with four nickels. And last he went to trade it for five pennies. Well, pennies are worth one cent. One, two, three, four, five. So that means he started with one dollar bill and he ended up with five cents. And then it says his dad got red in the cheeks. Think of our zones of regulation. Do we like being in the red zone? What does the red zone mean? Mm-hmm, angry, mad, upset. So if his dad's cheeks got all red, do you think his dad was really proud of him for all that trading? Or upset that he gave him a dollar and now he only has five cents? Hmm. I think you should talk to somebody about, about it at home. See what they think. He was thinking, I had one and now I have two and then three and then four and then five, but coins don't work that way, do they? You have to think of the value of the coin. That means how much it's worth. Well, that's that poem. And now we get to talk about our next animal teeth. I'm embarrassed to even say what kind of animal we're gonna learn about. It's called a naked mole rat. Oh my goodness. A naked mole rat's front teeth are shaped like shovels and are in front of its lips. They're perfect for digging the family's tunnels without getting a mouthful of dirt. Here's the fact and it's in a teal circle this time. Like beavers, a naked mole rat's front teeth never stop growing. Biting hard roots and bulbs wears the teeth down so they don't get too long. If you had naked mole rat front teeth, you could move each tooth separately, to the left or the right. They'd work just like chopsticks for picking up food, bite by bite. You ready for this picture? I don't know, it's not my favorite animal to look at. So here's the real naked mole rat. Mm-hmm. And here is what we might look like if we had naked mole rat teeth. Well, 
I think I'm pretty glad that my teeth don't look like that. But they do kind of look like shovels, so I guess that they have a purpose, right? Their teeth do do a job, and they must do it pretty well. Hmm. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow's animal is a vampire bat. I can't wait for you to join me. Enjoy the weather if you can. As always, be kind, be helpful. Bye.